Sherlock Holmes, The Awakened Part 2. Let's discover the fate of Kimihia, shall we? Alright, we had just arrived... Ooh, that is loud for me. Okay. We had just arrived here at the Port of London, where we believe Kimihia has been abducted. Sherlock and his bystanders about pieces of evidence. Yes, we are aware of that. Uh, so we have this icon which signifies an interview with someone in particular this one is the one where we ask around found at the scene of Kimihia's abduction the card has some text printed out that reads Roy Soulsby London so we need to ask around to see if we can find a little Roy here who abducted Kimihia I thought we had already answered that Ooh, we have quite a ways to go to discover that one and this one as well so we do not have Hardly enough to actually begin. Um, let's begin by asking around at the Cursed Mermaid, yeah? Probably have to change your clothes here just as a sailor. Please, I think I can help you. Oh, actually, the man usually wanders close to the dockyard. Let's go there, then. Alright, I'm going to skip that. It takes up a lot of real estate on the screen. Uh, we got a muckraker here. Oh, probably down here. Right? Nope. Not so. Not so tall. How about you? May I ask for your assistance? No, sir. I never heard of it. Right then. There's a seagull there. One, two, eh? Excuse me, good sir. May I ask for your oh, assistance? Madam. Oh, sorry, I know nothing. Is there... There's more interviews to do. Oh, I don't see anybody. Oh, there is a fisherman over here. What are you expecting to catch over here? Help me, please. As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. I wonder, can we still examine people in our concentration mode? Well, that seems to be a mechanic that did not carry over, which is just too bad. I felt like it wasn't used to its full potential in Chapter 1. I felt like there was more to do with it. Um, I did like the feature, even though it wasn't used. I liked, I liked having it. Um, to kind of get a read on people and sort of on the fly use Sherlock's observational powers to make judgments about people. Um, but I understand it's maybe for this game not as useful a mechanic because if this is indeed about uh, Lovecraftian stuff there's usually a, you know, a fair amount of occult stuff that is included with that and it would nearly concentrate and tell whether or not somebody is a cultist that may a problem, or alternatively, not having that mechanic but leaving it well, having it in the game but not using it in that fashion would we'll once again relegate it to a underwhelming and ultimately useless role. So, I get it. Um, am I in the right area? Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The coppers even went over there. Must be serious. Warehouse 2, huh? Is this a separate case? This is a separate case. Haunted warehouse. Or... Where is it? Okay. They're doing the cases differently. Um, I actually rather liked having the cases listed out separately. Um, but, okay. Well, I think we're on track for Warehouse 2 anyway. There was the sign for 1 and 2, so... I don't know exactly where we are right now, so... Oh, there's a sign for 3. Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The coppers even went over there. What's this? This is 
place is a labyrinth. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> of course I know. To cut a long story short. You will say that Mr. Soulsby may have gone to watch the ship that exploded yesterday near the third pier. Okay, so I'll have to go back and head for number two. Can I ask you a question? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. Let's head back and follow the sign for three, then. Oh, you all right, buddy? Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Uh, help. Dervish missing for a week. Please tell him if you see him. Ask Daya in Port Shantytown. Red rag over house entrance. Cards, huh? Alright, so that sign for three was here. Tier three. Terrific scenery. This is an excellent environment, and it has a whole completely different feel than Cordona did. Cordona was also beautiful, but of course it was an exotic Mediterranean island, Malta-esque. Um, this, of course, being Victorian London, we expect the dreariness and the smog and the fog and all of that kind of stuff, but um, I have not seen a location that looked, uh, that has looked uh, anything less than, I mean, they just look fantastic. They're, they're great environments. There's there's far more here than just a Victorian London feel. There's a definite creepiness about the environments as well. Like this could easily be a uh, survival horror level here. Is this the ship that blew up? So this would be a great opportunity for me to see if I can peg him with that skill. Not in the mood, mate. Chew! Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Oh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. Okay. Then, uh, what else? May I ask what are you doing? doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. Who else is asking? You say people? we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, and I still don't know nothing. And this woman hmm. can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. Was I observe? Which end cuts? Just got paid, huh? That's what it seems like to me. So he did not do the kidnapping. He is of English blood around 5'5 five, five, and has an average build. His lack of muscle tone implies he is hardly strong. Mr. Soulsby does not seem to look like Kimika's abductor. His palm bears several stamp ink stains. Some letters remain visible. H. M. Cuss. Apparently, Mr. Soulsby is the customs officer. He holds a brand new Waltham Hillside watch in his pocket. Only a corrupt customs officer can afford such a thing. The fuse. But okay, that's the same. That's the same. He holds a brand new uh, pocket watch. He can never afford such a thing, so he may have stolen it. I mean. I don't really have any evidence that he's a corrupt officer, but I have even less evidence that he's a thief. I think that he just got paid. And... And I don't mean paid, like, from 
his pay as a customs officer. I mean, like, he just got a score from something. Um, let's see. Can't help you there, mate. Okay, can't even ask him about anybody who is. He doesn't even. Does he ask if he knows Kimika or anything? Um, alright then, let's talk about. Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. Okay. Um. I mean, I would like to ask him about how his name or his pouch or whatever ended up at the thing, but apparently we can't. Sorry, doesn't ring talk a bell. about that. Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. What are you on about? Have you seen this before? Oh, okay, we can. My card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street, involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I, I, no. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? Yes, how else indeed. Alright. It says that I can talk to him about this stuff, but... That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. Really, he is not the one we are to talk to about that. Alright. Got another poster over here. Is it the same? I assume that it is because we can't pick it up. Alright. I kind of feel like I'm at a standstill then. He must know more than he's saying. Otherwise, we are. The trail has gone cold, so. If he's not our source of information, then I guess we need to find the house with the red rag over the door so we can see if this Givrish is. Uh, Only one uh, is it all related to um, Mihia. Where was that meant to be? Um, what shanty town, red rag, or the entrance? Is this somewhere near where we were before? Oh, okay, it is. <laughs> What's our map look like? Oh, jeez. Um, Pier 3, Cursed Mermaid. Uh, I take it that this is the Shantytown area. Of course, we're not on this map, so... It's somewhat more difficult, but this does seem to be the Shantytown area. Red rag over the door. Oh, here's warehouse 10. Can I get in there? Looks like we got day night cycles in the game as well. That's I always like to see that. The first time I played a game with day-night cycles, it just it blew my mind. Um, and I still think I don't remember. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to go? This is looking less and less like a shanty town. Right here. Nothing, apparently. Huh. It's not a rag, this is warehouse 12, but apparently we can... I think maybe we're going to be coming back this way. Four... Three... Where's the warehouses? Can't get in there either. Where's warehouse 2? Here it is. Office. Good evening, Constable. I heard some people talking of ghosts in this warehouse. <sighs> oh, uh, gossips, all of them. An old lady neighbor saw some lights and ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. 
Turns out this was the warehouse of Grandpa Kujak. He owned a business with theater props for scary shows. I went in and, well, it is a bit creepy, but I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. I'll be on the beat round the pub for the rest of the night. Damned explosion. Good night, sir. Okay. Quite diligent, the police. I can already tell. Ping. Um, some kind of contraption here. We've got... Those aren't meant to be buttons. They aren't meant to be buttons. Oh, that is too An spooky. An effective contraption. It still works. It's too spooky for you two. Alright, I'm taking a nut to balance one of those. So, go downstairs. There's bottles all over the stairs. In the early morning, perhaps. <gasps> too spooky. Looks uh, a lot like the casket from the art gallery investigation. There was a box in the coffin. It was removed quite recently. Okay. They opened the casket and left marks. Oh, there's blood. A herbal odor with an ethylic base. Liquor? A banana? <laughs> there's a banana on the stairs. Um, okay. Somebody... Oh, that is very spooky. <gasps> Who is this intended to scare? Ghost noises. Don't pretend to be so tough, Sherlock. Phosphorus used recently. This is otherworldly. Where is this going? Oh, uh, it goes up. I saw footprints on the ceiling. And here. Another missing box. Several crates are missing. An empty bottle. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. Excuse me there, John. A boot. <gasps> the boot worn by the ghost. Somebody had fun. A small cart left those tracks. Is it the cart we're looking for, though? There's still something I'm missing because I don't have both possibilities for one of our things. So. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. Well, get away from it before it possesses you. Inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. In what way? Um, okay, we got it now. Alright. Pulling up. Bunch of bottles. Uh, uh, no. Because it's a small cart, so that's not it. It's that one. And here... <gasps> Too spooky. Um, I guess that one. Double, double. You really think he just used a boot? Explain this paranormal activity. Yes. Too spooky. The undead. Yeah, that's probably it, huh? 
that's probably the one. Validate. John, validate Somebody me. Somebody played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. <clears throat> okay. The cart can be tracked to find out why. Biggest quality of life improvement is you can you can't sprint while you're in concentration mode, but you can walk faster. Huge quality of life improvement. Let's do this, John. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, this way. Bottle. Bam. Dr. Tippett Electric Pecto Brain? Dr. Tippett's Electric Pecto Brain. Patent medicine of the future. <coughs> this is a patent medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the patient slowly into death. Yep. Pretty much. Is it this one? Am I going the right way? I don't think I'm going the right way. I think it's back this way. Get... Get the... Do they turn? This way? Not seeing anything over here? Okay. Then where the hell did they go? Bottle was here. Uh, okay. Well, I don't think the cart went through the door, so it must be this way. It'd be nice to get some cart tracks or a breadcrumb or something. Can we please? Or is that it? Oh, that's it. Never mind. Okay, uh, we need to talk to folks about Dr. Tippett. You there. Have you seen a Dr. You Tippett? Of course I know. To cut a long story short. Dr. Tippett's electropecto brain can be found in shanty towns. It is dispensed in a yard of the sick and suffering. Okay, which yard? Need I continue to interview? Uh, it seems not. Oh, I just accidentally poked myself in the eye. Hold on a moment. All right. Uh, dispensed in a yard. I don't really see any yards. Okay. Um. I'll go this way. Which is the way I've already been. I don't have a compass in this game either, unlike in Chapter 1, so I can't even tell where, relative to everything else, I'm oriented. I can't tell if I'm heading north or south or what. So, um, this way, I guess. Speed chemicals, huh? Six, four. the end of the line over here. Okay. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. I mean, here's the yard. Ten. 
Where are the shanties here? Must be, it must actually be down here. This must be the shanty town. Let's fast travel back down here. Check around here. This must be where the shanty towns are. I don't believe in ghosts. I did when I was a kid. Red rag. Help me, please. Oh, sorry. Are you able to help me? Oh, sorry, I know. Not the right red rag, apparently. Okay. Is there a doctor? The man is very sick here. It sounds as though those people will need my help. Ooh. Hello, this is Dr. Watson. We'll take a look at your friend. May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. I don't know who he's talking about. This guy? Could you help me? I can't tell you because I don't know. Or this oh the guy on the ground. Duh. Skin, initial stages of necrosis, severe blistering. That's not great. Does he go into the water? Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in a river. It's a good thing these people. Water take has a curious fun. whitish tinge to it. Subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. Okay. Source of contamination upstream. Doctor's too pricey. I'm glad that they seem to have done away with the eavesdropping thing, because that was not a mini game that was worth doing. So it's nice to just overhear conversations as we walk. It provides us with about the right information anyway. Oh, hardly a reputable establishment. I've seen worse. Mm, it looks fine. Hey. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Pale chub lips. Vomit stains morning sickness. Oh, okay. Um, the barmaid is in the other stages of pregnancy, hence the slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. Chapped lips and a pale face indicated a lack of proper nutrition. She clearly has to know of her pregnancy as she keeps wearing her usual clothes, which are not too tight for her, or she's trying to hide it. Um, I, I don't see a difference, honestly. I also don't see any information that would indicate whether she's unaware or merely hiding it. But I'm assuming she's unaware. Um, should I ask about the man? Because if I say this, it might make her less likely to want to assist me. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna ask about the man first. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. Miss, what if I told you that you are in the family way? No, really? Oh, thank you, sir. How would I, a simple woman, have ever known without your help? <laughs> okay. Apparently she's doctor. trying to hide it, I understand. Speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Okay, um... What do you know about, uh, Mr... What do you know about this guy who went missing? What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Okay. Uh, do you know about Mr. Soulsby? Never heard of it. Okay. Have you seen anyone, um, big Maori guy? Have you been drinking? Okay. Doesn't look like anything to me. Doesn't look like anything to me. Never heard of it. Are you familiar with a Roy Soulsby? That's so, it's so Roy weird. The one, like, hmm. I, like I know what name. question to ask, but I have He's to pick the right thing, regulars. and then I ask about something that doesn't seem related to it, and that's the one I was, you know, missing. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, ping. Oh, we got something in the corner. We got something here too. A pumpkin on a bear. Tickets to Oakmont, Massachusetts are still available. Caron will depart next Tuesday from N2. Will destroy pests of any kind and complexity except payment cash only ask for Gervant. That seems to be the way out. Oh, so is the other thing. It's also a door. Can I go back here? I can go in there. That's a back entrance, okay. That's blocked off. Okay. Um. Okay, so we're looking for the doctor, or heading upstream, or there's much to do, and it seems to not have much to do with the coffin won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. Kimmy here. Um, so I guess upstream would be this way. Let's so go that way. Ah, it's the stone here. A pile of rotten food. It carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. Okay. been decomposing for weeks. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. The waterway goes under the buildings. We need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. Okay, can we get to the other side? Uh, okay. We got John. into somebody's house apparently hello lad is this where i may find dea you read the poster yes you know where my brother girves is sadly no well not yet uh where was your brother last seen? where did you last see girves he worked at a um warehouse this man roy solby gave him the job he paid him a net a necklace. Okay. Do you remember what Salisbury looked like? How would you describe this Salisbury? He was big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like, uh, like it was made of metal. 
Okay, that's not the Roy Soulsby we met. Have the necklace that Soulsby gave to Gidavess. Gidavess left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Alma um, medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. Okay. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Alma, my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Poor kid. Don't go anywhere. Check bonus section in game menu. Okay. I don't know what these are. Is that an outfit I can use? Oh, it is. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to use the um, typewriter. Maybe that's in Baker Street now. Um, cool. I like the reward system. That's new. Um, let's check the altar, then. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Mm -hmm. Screw it over. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? Sure. Yeah. He's probably fine. All right. Hang tight, kid. Okay. Where are we gonna find this doctor? how we're going to get to the other side of the buildings to continue checking the river. This does seem to be the end of the river. I, I reckon we're over here now. Well, I mean, we walked over here, so we're over here now, but... Um, okay, I guess that's where we're supposed to go, because it looks like the river crosses under the buildings and ends up over here, and then over there. So we're going to have to try and get back to the river so we can continue to follow it. Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The Ma, Ma Dalton fucking drinks opium all day long. Don't listen to her. Alright, here is the river again. This pipe disposes of wastewater from a factory, a possible culprit, but would likely have caused trouble a long time ago. Moving on. This water looks um, so wonderfully terrible. Like, it looks gross. Human waste. Despite looking fairly hazardous, I doubt it could cause such acute poisoning. Yeah, still I can't shouldn't. see any other major source of contamination in this section of the waterway. Perhaps another place. Still probably shouldn't be playing around in it, though, eh? Alright, we'll go up to the third section then, which if I remember correctly should be upwards about here or so. We're over here, so... Railroad tracks. Which did we just cross? Okay. Yeah, right there. There's our 
railroad tracks, which should be right here is the waterway. Uh, I can't quite see it from there for some reason. Ah. Oh. That's unexpected. Tracks under the weight pressure sideways. Nearby forest recently. A recent car crash. Ah. Phenol, a dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer, coming from spade chemicals. Ryan, never load this trolley with more than half the weight of Danny Nutcracker or 200 pounds at a time. She did the Mexican Flamingo with Joshua, and the poor thing is not running well since. The trolley, that is, Joshua broke long ago. Also, the ship from Barbados asked for one ton of phenol, so let's hurry up. IV spade chemicals. The fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. Huh. Wow, okay, I feel like we got so many things going on here. Um, Alright, we need to pin this, and we need to... This is a, an interview one. So, I guess we got to talk to people about spade chemicals. Or to see if we can find the people that are mentioned. May I ask for your assistance? I think I can help you. Uh, okay, so we got to find warehouse five. Eight... Three, six, seven, four, twelve. Intentionally trying to drive me insane by having them numbered out of order. Seven, six, four. Where is five? Three. Ask for your assistance. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Okay, uh, five. Where there's eleven. Four, six, seven. Come on, what the hell? Three. Maybe through here? Eight. Nine. Ten. It's 
four, six, seven. Uh. All right, I'm walking around in circles. This is not doing me any damn good at all. Let's try on the other side of the split level. Um, so over here, and then over here on this side, maybe. No. That's going to take me back to Pier 3. Alright, so all the warehouses are over there. Our crash. That's not five. All right, if I can't find it soon, then I'm going to, um, I'm going to have to go back to the shanty town and find uh, the doctor because I don't know what else to do. I'm not gonna it's it should be around here. Don't know where that is. Um so maybe I should just do that right away here. Excuse me. Um I guess let's just do that. Hey, cat, where? Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the key? So oh, there it is. Hey, little kitty, 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 kitty. Um, do, can I ask you about anything? Yeah, there we go. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. All right, well, so much for that, I guess. Um, see if we can find, can I, I don't know, see if we can find the doctor. Um, Dr. Tippett. In sold in a yard, he said. Damn it, John. At least the other John just kind of teleported places. Now, where do I begin looking at this? It's not here. What's this? Star of Gibraltar seeking a carpenter and able seaman. Right to Captain uh, Akab. Okay, leading all. Strong men needed for honest work. Apply for details to the pub any Wednesday. The coffee won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. May I ask you something? I can't help you with this. 
the chicky. All right. Sure. for that yet, but it seems as if I need to go talk to the boy. Angie. All right, Soulsby, spill it. I don't know. confront anybody about anything. I don't know anything yet. <laughs> I don't know anything about anything. Um, but I also don't know what else to do. So... I shall take my leave. I'm gonna drop a save. And what we'll you see what happens when we confront. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? What is the crime and who is the criminal? Uh, the crime is kidnapping and the criminal is uh, Dirty Sanchez or whatever the fuck his name is. Um, A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Kind of does. Uh, what is Soulsby's connection to the crime? Uh, well, your fucking name was literally found at the crime scene. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. You, you cannot be yeah, serious. Yeah, it does. What is Soulsby's secret? Um... Or that you just recently got a big payday? Yeah, I guess. It's true. 
And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Soulsby. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I used red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. Okay. Don't know why we still have this twist and talk to him about it. Wonder why people are going missing. Puts a man on edge, you know. Okay, uh, it still says that we're supposed to talk to him. But she also didn't, she also wasn't completely honest with us because she said that, uh, he was gone and it doesn't seem like, uh, it seems like he, he spends a lot more time there and is probably a lot more familiar with her than she let on, so. Let's see if she's got anything new to say. Okay. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. What is the crime? Who's the criminal? Well, it's still kidnapping and still Dirty Summers. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? Uh... I mean, the <laughs> wow! This is uh, this is tenuous evidence at best. But the whole reason I'm here is because Soulsby said that he spends a lot of time here. So, a customs officer, and that Soulsby okay, testified that, that appears to be correct. So, here. you must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. What is the bartender's secret? Um, well, I think that Dirty Summer is the is the baby daddy. Sure. If the lives of the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Uh, no. Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble, and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summer's hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people. But I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. There's a key. Go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. Okay. Um, so he's not the baby daddy, but that's fine. It got us apparently where we needed to be. Um... Painting. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Okay. Strong men needed for moving crates in warehouse area. It's a big old sack of corn. Queens. Five shillings. That won't go far. Uh, the same dinner I had at Baker Street before this whole thing started. One, two, three, four, five. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. Anchor. Illuminati. Eyeball. Weird anchor. There's a note under the plate. 
The Parker and Williams Co. Manchester invoice number 012B, date 20th September 1882. Sold to Oscar Summers. Okay, that's his actual real first name. High quality sailcloth packed in wooden crates. Is this supposed to be the current date? Because I was told that the awakening, according to the blog post I've been using, takes place in 1895-ish. Certainly wouldn't be next in chronological order if it's actually 1882. Because Jack the Ripper is 1888. Alright. Now what? Um, we need to find the warehouse that they're moving stuff around in. Uh, we still gotta find Dr. Tippett. Still gotta find Warehouse 5. Those seem to be my two leads here. Um. Oh, we got a new Mind Palace thing here. Can we do something like this? Um, that, okay, well, we've only got two green ones, so that makes those choices easy, I guess. Um, hiring notice. Okay, so 12. Warehouse 12, we saw before that we, we couldn't quite open. That's the one we're probably looking for. Um, Alright. That doesn't get us any closer to House 5 or anything, but... Alright. I'm going to call it there for part two. I'm afraid it's uh, fairly late here. I don't usually record this late, but I had some free time tonight. Uh, I'm going to say part three is when we're going to confront old Dirty Sanchez here and see if we can get uh, Kimihia back safe and sound in the loving embrace of his oppressive master. So take care, have a good day, and we will see you next time.